First, as you can see, we've still got the bones in here. I'm going to remove all them, and I'm going to go. It's a bit of an experiment, really. I'm going to try some belly pork uh, strips, and I'm going to cook them in the same way as I do when I do them on my smoker barbecue. But obviously, I'm not going to be using my smoker barbecue. I'm going to try them in the oven and see how they turn out. So, as you see, I've moved the the bone. And, use, and what I do with that when I'm cutting it, I'll cut down here first right down behind the back of the rack and then go underneath there try not to take too much meat off of it obviously you don't want to be wasting the meat and usually what I do which I'm going to do this time as well but I always do it when I'm smoking but, uh, some pork ribs or uh, or if I'm sorry if I'm doing a, a belly pork or some burnt ends I season this up and chuck it as well as like a little uh, nibbling rack of ribs but we'll do that as well we'll go along with that now what I'm going to do is cut them into strips. I'm going to go about an inch and a half type width. And I'm going to cut them all into strips, that sort of big chunky size. Because they're going to they're going to lose a bit of the size in the when you're cooking. So I'm going to slow cook them a bit. So I've cut them into strips and then I've cut them in half again. And as you can see, some are a lot fatter than others. So I'm going to be careful when you're barbecuing them, you have to keep an eye on them because it'll, they'll dry out and obviously the fatter ones are going to take a little bit more long, you look at the difference in that to that, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season them up, I'm going to go under the barbecue, well, under the grill sorry, but I'm going to lower the, the grill plate down a little bit so they don't cook too fast, I'm going to get the, the seasoning sort of plastered on them, then I'm going to put them in a tray, cover them over with foil, I'm going to put in some butter, some brown sugar, some honey, and then I'm going to leave them and slow cook them in the oven. I'm going to preheat the oven to about uh, 175, and I'm going to let them go for about three and a half hours, in that, and I'm going to see what they turn out like. They're obviously not going to be as good as when you do them in the smoker. When you do belly pork in the smoke, it's beautiful but we'll see what sort of results we get. I'm going to go in with two rubs. I'm going to go with an E-Fral cherry rub, which is one of my favourite barbecue rubs for pork. And then I'm going to also, because I haven't got enough um, cherry rub, I'm going to eat it with some Angus and Oink uh, honey chilli. These are, a, I believe they're a British company. They've some really good rubs. I've, I've got many rubs off these, they're really good tackle. So they're all seasoned up, they're all rubbed up. Stick a little bit more on this one actually to be fair but i've gone in quite heavy with a lot of rub i've used about half a tub between them and it's smelling beautiful any rub what any barbecue rub you get you can get them off anyway you can get them off amazon or whatever and then uh, we're going to go in the, with the grill so what i've done is i've lined a big uh, baking pan type thing with foil and I'm going to put it under the grill, but I'm going to drop it down a little bit just so I can, I'm going to slow grill it. I'm going to grill it for probably about 20 minutes, half an hour, and I'm just going to keep flipping it until I get a little bit of colour on each side. And obviously, watch out in your grill, you're going to get hot spots, so you might have to shift some bits about and, and try and level them all out so they're cooking even. So I've got a nice bit of colouring now all over, bit of charring on some, some pieces you move about. Like the smaller bits here, there's hot bits of the grill, so I kept moving them from left to right. Just get a bit of colour all over them. And now what I'm going to do is cover them with the butter, the honey, the brown sugar. I'm going to wrap them up and I'm going to put them in the oven. One, uh, 175 degrees. The oven's preheating now at 175 degrees. And like I said, I'm probably going to let them go for about three and a half hours till it drops the bits. So there's no weighing involved when I do stuff like this. This is half a block of proper butter. Don't worry about um, this being so like sweet and naughty because you don't eat all this honey. You don't eat all the butter and the, the honey and brown sugar and stuff. It's, it's just there to sort of 
help it come along and stew it and give it a nice little texture. And now with the brown sugar as well, I usually go with a, the fine brown sugar, but they didn't have none in the shop, so I've got um, I'm not even trying, I'm going to try and pronounce it. Demerara sugar or whatever it's called. But I usually use the thinner stuff. I'm going to go in with stacks of it, look. And that's going to be it. Now it's going to be covered and we're going to let it rock for three to three and a half hours. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little basting sauce with it. Now this is totally personal preference. You go in with whatever you want with this. I've got some of this Saw Shop original barbecue sauce. Let me try and get it in pink. I can't remember. It's not really cheap. Like more of a, like a really rich tomato with barbecue sauce. This is I'm gonna go in with some of that. I've just got some Heinz classic crappy, crappy smoky barbecue sauce, which I haven't opened, so I'm gonna open that of camera i've got some sriracha which is one of my favorites just to give it a little bit of a kick i'm gonna go in with that i'm gonna go in with a little bit more honey and also i've got some of this liquid smoke Obviously, it's not going to make it nowhere near like a, a smoke is when you do it on a barbecue, but I'm hoping it'll just give it a little bit of a smoky flavour. You don't want to go in too much of this if you get any of it. So it's really strong, so probably about a teaspoonful. And then I'll open my barbecue sauce. And we'll go in with about that much and that will be oh bloody lovely right so let's have a look they've been in for about three hours and then let's pull it yeah they look pretty cool don't they it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up so yeah this is uh kind of when i realized that I'd messed up totally. So when I went to change the grill setting to turn it off grill in onto the oven to preheat it, I changed the, the temperature setting, but then I didn't put it on to oven. So basically I grilled the meat for about three hours, which basically burnt the crap out of it. Basically the only sort of saving grace i got was some of it was uh some of it was edible and the thing is the bits that were soft and edible i know just by tasting them when i do it next time and i put it right which i'm going to do and do a video of they, it is going to be really good it was as close to um doing it on the smoker barbecue to be fair it was really really nice so um the next time i'll do it right and i will make sure i thingy so what I did with it in the end was chopped it up into little bits, the, the edible stuff, and um, made some burnt ends of it, which was really good to be fair. But we'll get it better next time. It's all a learning curve.